Yeah, so over on my right here, you're looking at um, two yabba. And these yabbas, you see, right here, they are the real traditional folk butter yabba done by Malu's daughter. So just take a look at them. You see the different styles, the different finish, the different type of clay, the different kind of burning. Okay, yabba they used to use to cook in, to store water, to eat from, just about all of the household use and otherwise for decorative purpose and everything. Yabba. Yabba. Anything in the clay is much better, inexpensive and everything. Yabba, yabba, yabba. And when you're eating out of the aluminum pot, you know, so all the aluminum go down your system, go dirty it up. But the, this clay pot, easy. Have you ever eaten from a yabba or used it to cook? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Rice and peas, man. You put the, you, turn, you set up your stove first. You put the yabba empty on the stove. And when the yabba heat up, you pour in your oil or your water or your coconut milk, whatever you're going to cook. When you put the yabba on the stove, the yabba gets hot. And then you start pouring your liquid and whatever. We soak the clay in the drum and mix out the clay. At 3.30, we are expecting to have an interview with our friends from the JCF. So how do you get it? Um, uh, we'll ready. pour it in here, we'll put water and mix it out. I mix soap. All right, so here we go. At 10 minutes past, and then we mix it again, strain it in another drum to get it clean. On our BBM. Okay, and by the way, seven. The white clay is from the river and the browner clay is from land. So the white clay is more of a high temperature stoneware clay and the brown clay is a low temperature clay. Ligani clay. and not on the machine. Mm -hmm. Make the boxes square. We will have to abort. We will put them down for dry. Because they have to dry before they go in the kiln. Mm -hmm. Here. Well, that one break from the time is ready. Right. Yeah, man, these are fine. Ready to go. Good to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs>